Righto, righto, righto. We're back on speed five. I don't think I can see the name of him, but yeah, at least a level four character. Now, I did want to see if I could figure out some other potential speedruns. I mean, we're not going to use the timer this time. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. I'm... 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 I got no quarrels with you. <laughs> okay. What a way to start. Okay. Let's get... Let's... Uh, 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 here we go. Right. Okay. Where was I? Right. Some other types of speed runs, because I am very happy with the run that we did yesterday. One and a half hour to kill all the bosses. I know there's a speed run to kill the first boss, the fastest, and I think the record is two minutes something. I mean, that's fast. That's very fast. There could also be a speed run to get a full set of legendary armor. A speed run to get, let's say, the legendary glider, shroud weaver, and of course upgrade the altar. Now that is something that I kind of want to try today, to see how easy it is to upgrade the altar. Because technically now we've spent one and a half hours killing every boss, we have every trophy, and you need the second one, this one, this one, and also this one. So we will see, and the plan is also to just, as quickly as possible, upgrade the flame altar to oh, 4, because then we can get... I believe it's out here, smithing tools, and if we get the smithing tools, we should be able to craft the metal pickaxe and axe. Oh, and on a side note, did you guys know that right now, at this moment, the game is 10% off? I believe it's gonna be 10% off for a couple of days? Give it a go, and that is definitely worth it. I mean, at bare minimum, if you even rush through the game, you will get at least 20 to 30 hours of gameplay. So yeah, that that is definitely worth it. I do want to get the best tools as fast as possible, but I'm not really sure if I'm able to. That is just rubble, right? Here I get, I do get iron ore. I mean, I might as well loot it for whatever reason. Black powder. Oh, hang on a minute. You can get black powder directly from stuff around here. Oh, well, snap. Okay, okay. Because we are uh, trying to create those big boom barrels, <laughs> exploding barrels, on on the, my main character. And I was wondering what level. So, okay, so you can get it from regular stuff around this area. Now, that is good to know. Because creating black powder <laughs> is such a gigantic pain. Oh, you need so much materials and it takes so long to get. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I am, I am not prepared. This, no, this could be stone. Okay, so I need five. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna wait, wait for a stamina. Come on. That's one. Yeah. Fantastic start. That's two. Come on. That's three. Okay, well, two more. That's four. One more. Come on. Any day now. Come on. There we go. Nice, nice, leader. Right, then we create a flame altar. Okay, so if we place this down right about here, then we can just spawn at this place, fly down there and get loads of materials. I mean, while we're here, we might as well get some water, because water equals stamina. Mana, mana. Hey, hey. Okay, let's get the blacksmiths. Right, because if I get the forge and the charcoal kiln, I am able to create... Why? Oh, because I haven't discovered copper yet. Yeah, because I just need to forge in order to get the copper tools. Now, that would help me a little bit. I still need charcoal, so I de do need to uh, get the kiln. Never force it, just get a bigger hammer. Never force it, just get a bigger hammer. <laughs> okay, uh, that sounded wise. Stones for days, don't have to mine schmidt. That will probably suffice. Now, I still need to do some digging. Now, I want to minimize the amount of stuff that I have to dig, so we will see. Okay, so a little bit more wood. More choppy chop chop. Wood? I didn't get any wood from that tree. What, 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 uh, what the hell? Okay, some more of that. I mean, then we are creating charcoal. Yeah, 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 god damn, calm your heads. Because there's no foreseeable way that I could get into the shroud where the smithing tools are without having to upgrade the altar. Maybe. Yeah, I need 
to discover the smithing tools before I can create it. But the smithing tools are in the middle of the shroud. Now come, come up. Uh, here? Yeah. They're right down here. Hmm. How the hell are you gonna get down there without upgrading the altar? Okay, now that's, uh, that's a tough, yeah. Oh no, hang on a minute. Okay, so you only need the forge in order to create the iron pickaxe. You don't say. Okay. Back to Speedy Gonzalez. Now we might, we might, maybe might be cooking. Okay, we, we're learning something. So I guess we're gonna kind of beeline it for, uh, for flame level four. Yeah, flame level four, I believe. Then we can get the smithing tools. But that's gonna, still gonna be a lot of gathering. Increase the level of flame. There we go. And in order to increase it again, uh, I forgot about the goo. <laughs> okay, but goo isn't that hard to get. Mycelium, Isis Pie, Indigo Plant, and Amber Howls. But like, getting amber and copper ore, that take, takes so long. Oh god, I'm getting a demon. <laughs> I'm not motivated to do this. Oh. You know what? You know what? I am gonna do a little bit of experiments. Can you get the smithing tools any other way? There is. There is a flavor, uh, like, there is a, oh, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on just a tiny little bit of a minute. There is a shroud root in the middle there, maybe, if you get my drift, because I am thinking maybe you don't need to upgrade the altar at all, but if you're able to kill that shroud root, and I think I have confirmed that you can, you just need like 400 or so arrows. The objective has changed, I'm on a new quest. Try not to use the pickaxe a single time. Quest. Okay, so this could be this could be interesting. This could be in fact very interesting. Then we just need to get down to that place. Okay, this this could be something. Might be a huge waste of time. But yeah, if I build myself just over there, but if I destroy the root. Okay, okay, okay. I am excited. I am excited again. New quest, new quest, more stone, all the stone. Now I'm spending a long time <laughs> gathering materials in order to not gather materials. Uh, here we go. Then just use this thing. Okay, so we make the shelf away. It's a long way, but it is away nonetheless. Uh, I have no idea why. This is so fun to, uh, fun for me. I mean, we are slowly making our way over there. Yeah, okay, no, no. Now I'm having fun again. Eesh. If we just place down that thing I'm jig over there, I mean we should have a flame altar right about yeah. And then we just start firing, like so. Did I hit anything? Do I need to get closer? Okay, so now I am hitting it. Oh boy, exciting content. Now this would be fun to post the entire ward off, just me firing uh, like 500 arrows. Okay, this, this is gonna be something. It's gonna take all day. But I am invested now. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna use all the arrows. I mean, two? I do two damage with this arrow. Oh, okay. Why? I mean, then it means that I can do it twice as fast. And I wonder, I mean, I'm gonna use all of the arrows just, just to find out if this is indeed possible. Because that's also a way to get a lot of skill points without having to upgrade the altar. Then again, just upgrade the altars and then you can go in here. But yeah. Mm, this, uh, this is gonna be something. I should put on a podcast. <laughs> uh, but no, this, this is in fact very enjoyable for me. But yeah, I do two damage with the iron arrows. That is interesting. I know that I can create explosive arrows. But again, I mean, I spent a long time just getting the stuff for the explosive arrows. And you need black powder. Again, you can get black powder from... The Kindle wastes just basic loot stuff around there. Okay, so now we're back to one, one damage. That is fine. Okay, science, science indeed. Wonder if I could fire quicker by specking into Ranger. Then again, I'm only level four, so and it doesn't matter now. More dexterity shouldn't mean more damage to the shroud roots, I believe. Okay, well, here we go. Am I gonna be able to do this within an hour? <laughs> uh. At least I have a fast bow. Oh! Well, would you look at that? I got, well, I only got one skill point. But yeah. Okay, so now I can go down there. But the question is, I think 
that the smithing tools are down there. Yikes. Okay, okay. So I thought it would be a bigger area, but yeah. I mean, now, the, I mean, this is something. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay, so where was the smithing tools? Why do I have a feeling that it was on the other side? God. Oh, there's deadly shroud. <laughs> oh, God. Now, hang on. Yeah, I don't think I would gain much extra time by using a shroud potion, would I? If I use this, does that help me? Four more minutes in the shroud. I mean, it doesn't count in the red shroud, but maybe it gives me a couple more seconds. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, let's uh, give it a little bit of a test. If I go here, that is six minutes, and it goes down fast. If I drink this thing... Okay, and then I have a little... Just a few seconds. Not many, just a few. I believe it was on that other island. Perhaps. Okay, come on, smithing tools, where are you? Let's see. There it is. Okay, right. Right, right, right. Okay, we are gonna teleport back. Get ourselves a fancy little potion. Now we know where it is. Easy to get. Okay, there we go. Smithing tools. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Okay, now hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yeah, because I don't... I lose it. Darn it. Hang on. Hang on a minute. We can do this. We can actually do this. Okay, so one more go. Actually, I might start from the top. It should be right down... Okay, it is... No, hang on. Where's my... Huh? Where's my stuff? Where's my... There... Oh. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was just blind. Okay. So now we should be able to create the iron tools. Again, we don't have to upgrade the altar a single time. What the hell? Okay, so let's place this down. Bush. Yeah, I need shroud wood and linen. Eh? Why can't I make... Why can't I... Hmm. Okay, because linen... I mean, linen you can pick up from the desert area, I believe. Yeah. Why can't I create the pickaxe? I mean, I can create a bronze pickaxe with just shroud wood. That is decent. And this one, I just need linen. I kind of vaguely something maybe remember where linen is. Why can't I make the pickaxe? Okay, I'm just gonna make the pickaxe and the bronze pickaxe for the sake of... for the sake, yeah. Okay, what do I need to do to get the iron pickaxe? I have iron. I have the smithing tools. I mean, I don't need the smithing tools in order to make the iron pickaxe. I just need a forge. Okay, so now we have at least the next best pickaxe. Falling axe, I just need three linen. What is going on with this door? It's a doggy door. Because I also doubt that if I in fact get linen, I will be able to get... Uh, that I will be able to get the iron pickaxe recipe. Now, if I do create the smelter, maybe. But at least we have confirmed that you are able to get the smithing tools at... Yeah, well, yeah, at level 1, without the, the, the flame altar leveled up even one bit. So that is, that is in fact something. Actually, one thing that I did want to test out, can I summon multiples of these things? I can! Okay, now that could be something. Now, what is the cap on that? Okay, so here's a wolf. Where are my flame thingies? There they are. Yeah, attack this thing, please. How many can I have out at the same time? Okay, <laughs> more stuff to do experiments on. If I get a hundred of those, can I just summon a hundred of them and basically one-shot everything? Maybe? How the hell do we unlock the recipe for that? I mean, we have the materials for it, but we don't have the, the ding-dong recipe. Like, how, 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 how does that make sense? We have everything we need to make it, including the workstation, but we don't have that. Well, I guess that's a problem for tomorrow, Sorinin, so I think that I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.